at us. Joining me now is Representative Louis Gohmert of Texas. Representative, um, how about cutting some of those big salaries at the White House? Did you hear what's going on there? Yes, I have, and it sounds like the only thing that's truly shovel-ready is all the bulls that they've been feeding to us over the last two and a half years. Uh, that needs to be shoveled out in a hurry. But, yeah, in the White House, uh, in looking at it, uh, this administration's got uh, uh, over 450 employees. Now, under the Bush administration, there were over 100 uh, about a fourth of the employees made less than $40,000. This administration doesn't have anybody uh, making less than $40,000. Uh, I guess, you know, there's just so much greatness when you associate with this White House. You, you deserve to be paid more. I don't know. Congressman, but, we're, uh, we're scrolling while we, while oh, we and speak. Oh, don't forget the 34, the 34 czars that are out there dictating policy. And let's face it, Garrett, when you're a dictator, you need to be paid more. Congressman, while we and speak, I, it's one, I, I want to let you know, you, know. Can't, you can't see this, but we're scrolling all the uh, White House personnel that make, most of them make the maximum, 172,200, the list goes on. We couldn't even fit the people making over $100,000 because there are literally hundreds right. of them. I mean, it's out of you control. Meanwhile, but, but, but you know what? The rest of the economy, the rest of the people in America right now have struggled through a recession, but doesn't doesn't appear that the White House is, is feeling the same pain we are. Well, Eric, I would have never dreamed that, uh, that we would see this as a result, but as a result of finding out how much these, this incredible amount of money is being spent to White House staff actually ends up being a bargain compared to the jobs that this administration has created or saved and how much those cost. Who would ever dream that paying people $175,000 in the White House would be a bargain compared to how much they're paying to create private sector jobs? Right, right, sir. And, Let, let's talk about that for a second. The number you're referring to, I guess, is from this White House economic advisor. By the way, these are hand-picked advisors from the White House. White House Economic, economic Advisor Council telling us that it costs us about two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars per job created from the stimulus program. But my, here's my problem, though: if you go to recovery.gov, which is the, the White House's own website on the money spent, that number comes to one point one six nine million dollars per job. Which one am I supposed to believe? Well, that's one of the problems that uh, they probably in this White House would tell you they need about 50 more people to help them get their numbers right. When the fact is we need a complete turnover and get rid of half of those folks. Uh, now, some of us weren't totally thrilled with the way money was being spent in the Bush White House. I wasn't happy with a $160 billion stimulus package that the Bush administration did. It didn't work. It, was, it, it did nothing. But my goodness, the trillions of dollars now this administration has spent supposedly to help the uh, the economy makes my $1.21 trillion uh, tax holiday for an entire year look like a bargain. Boy, you talk about stimulating the economy. And I did propose that to uh, President Obama personally in January of uh, 2009. He loved the idea. And then I heard him on a Saturday saying he, had, he was doing that. We're going to let you keep all this money in your paycheck. If you meet all the requirements, I think you got 60 bucks. I'm going, right, I right, think it's 6,000. Right. He has squandered so much money that you've heard the sucking sound coming from the private sector. There's not enough money to, to create jobs in the private sector. But, uh, my word, he, he has done so much damage to this economy. Oh, you have to leave it there, Congressman. If just get out of the way, we could get things going. Get out of the way. I agree with you, sir. Thank you so much, Congressman Louis Gomer. Thank you well, very always much. Always good sir. to talk to you, Eric. All right, let's bring it out.